is that maybe the medicine is killing them. Kill us. What? You know what? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Whenever a doctor gives a fat person health advice, they uh, just they deny them. Yeah, so right. Right. I hate that so much. It's so dehumanizing. I, what do we have here? Another anime Thrall profile picture of a the skinny Thunder pretty girl. King! This is not my first guerrilla war. I bring the fury of the elements. The dissonance can be right in front of you, and you can't see it. I was like a fucking specimen when I read the note I thought it wrote for me. In order to get reasonable accommodations at work, you know, <laughs> just getting a little bit silly here. You can do things in You wanna cast a spell? I wanna cast a spell. B. There are some things out there which can help you with. Okay, I don't know what they're doing. It's an un it's an unravelable tapestry of life that nobody can even begin to understand. The human body is full of mysteries and we've only begun to discover the surface. Now watch as I pull or no. So if you don't like the movies, then you could make Hey, I got you, friend. Black. Well, it's anti-black. The only implication that you could make with that is racism. Wow. As a colored crayon myself, I don't see no. biological health condition being racist. I would have guessed. And so they're back. It is the word obesity is a fat phobic slur. Stop interacting with hosts that use it as a way to combat fatness. I fucking hate y'all. In shape anime girl. I wonder if she's fat. I bet she's not. They won't fight magic with literally block me. I love how, like, the idea is that, like, fat people are, like, another... A mesmerizing melody! Right? You know, like, Americans, white people, black people, um, and then you have fat people. It's like a protected class. Yeah, exactly. It's another species? I guess it's crazy. It's a race? Yeah. Well, it's not, but, you know... Okay, well you're gonna fuck it up. It's a joke. Kind of. The term obese is a slave. It's not because our feelings are. You burn some! You burn some! I already bear too many cards. You burn some! You burn some! Say it again. of obesity are still going to be a thing whether you no, call it but like if you think about it from their perspective that if you stop calling people fat maybe being fat will go away and it will become normal because like that's the way they're thinking of it why are we acting like these insane opinions so less than 0.01% hot and deep the reason why it's problematic is that these people in positions of authority. This may just be my best song yet! Use this thinking to dictate what other people can and can't say. These are the people that work at your HR office. For are honor and glory! I already bear too so many cards. These are the people who are unreasonable and they want everybody else in the world to... I think that's the reason why it's I I don't want to be told what to think by these people. They're fucking annoying. Nobody run from me! Yeah, that's the reason why. I mean, maybe you would have I think that next time, um, you know,
Cletus the crackhead needs another hit of heroin or fentanyl, I'm just gonna give it to him. Because like, look, if he wants it, let's just, why don't I just, I'm being a nice guy. I'm just being a nice guy. I mean, there it is. Obesity or not? How hard is this to understand? It's almost like education is illegal. <laughs> that obesity is a violence on fat people, particularly the disabled trans people. There are this is like whenever I I I have to be a misogynist transphobe. Your fate cuts They have to use the entire exodia only feel my brain melt at some of this bullshit. What are you talking about? Honestly, what are you talking about? A medical term used to diagnose people is now claimed to be violent. This can't be real life. They want to be victims so badly. It's so fucking Korean. You'll never see anyone defend anorexia or chain smoking like this. So why no, do they- it's just rough. And I think this is the one to be a victim thing is a huge, huge issue. They do it for obesity. <clears throat> God, this is so fucking weird. Now, I'm not yeah. going to claim to be a medical professional by any means because I'm <laughs> be a nutrition for around a year in college, right? But even with the little amounts of information I have on the subject, I still have more than enough knowledge to claim that being morbidly obese is not a good thing. It's not like a neutral body type like in a video game which has no impact on the No, it's not like that. It's a serious medical condition and when it's I terrible shoot you, for you. It's gonna you hurt! You need to study anything to understand <laughs> what it looks like compared to an unknown. You have more than you And yet, we have these people. But not only has this ideology seen when itself I shoot ya, it's gonna it's hurt. hurt! It also seeps itself to actual medical professionals. No. Honestly, Just a guy in a costume, yeah. okay? There is no way you have a medical. <laughs> it was, and and I think that obviously I do not entertain. that it would make perfect sense because there are instances where people are dismissed because of the problem they have is because they're overweight, and the doctors do the <laughs> something different and it's not being treated properly this is a and it's absolutely valid and completely true for honor and glory okay. my medical health yep. care that's just ridiculous if you are clinically diagnosed with obesity you should lose the weight. If a oh, medical absolutely, but it doesn't have any other ailment that you professional tell you that you tell you should probably do so. A reliable who actually uses the Specialists, they want to delay that because they say you need to lose weight first. You need to push back on that person. She's right. Or you need to find someone else. Yeah, true. Why? A curse of crabs upon you. It's me. There's a high possibility that those symptoms can lessen down. Making treatment. It is. There is a possibility, but the possibility is not 100%. And I think that it's high enough to where it's worth doing a test and to check and see. A lot yeah. easier for everyone involved. Any doctor in their right for room. honor and glory. Just blame on your PC, which is very true. Yeah, you can't blame on Roblox, bro. Yeah, no, no, it definitely is, is is the case. That that is absolutely true. He's right. There's no fucking way. You're going to in chat. Uh, they said, have you ever noticed that I didn't 
didn't see a lot of older people that were promoting obesity. I wonder why. Maybe it's because older people don't watch YouTube as much. So that must be That's the whole of 99% of the problems these people have. You'd like... No, I don't 99%. Right? This is like, for example, like COVID, right? Like COVID was a really good example of a lot of people that got um, killed by COVID. They were overweight. A lot of them. Right? Like, a, like being fat is like a... It's like having five stacks of Sunder armor, okay? So, like, if you have five stacks of Sunder armor, a attack that would maybe do, like, a hundred damage to you... FOR HONOR AND GLORY! Right? It's like, you know, like, reduced armor. Now you have, like, you know, damage to an increase, right? So, if something hits you with that debuff on, well, now it's going to be doing enhanced damage. I should believe a doctor would know yeah. this. You are allowed other health problems. You deserve the respect. This is a question of the Titans. Man stops here. Totally agree with them. Yeah, but what about the main symptom that is visible? Are you serious? If this person walks not into the store, the oh, officer says, "Oh, doc, my uh, my joints hurt." Are you gonna say, "Oh, let me let me go investigate that further"? No, idiot. The problem is the officer. <laughs> to believe a medical for honor and glory Obviously, obesity is like a major health problem and it should be addressed, but obesity doesn't always 100% of the time explain every symptom a person would be having. And that's why you have those other tests. Like, that's of course the reason why. Can we still say morbidly obese, right? Um, for now. Oh, this yeah. is Scarlet! Is this topic only a thing in the USA? Let the blight begin! I bring the fury the of the elements. Of identity politics issue. So people try to figure out ways to put themselves into identity groups, which is one of the reasons why I think that a lot of the people there are fat white women is because obviously as a white person, you don't have any sort of like, uh, what do you call it? Like a marginalized identity. And I think that people like that want to have a marginalized identity. So they look for ways that they can make themselves marginalized. Job's and done. So they don't have to acknowledge that they're living with the most privilege that any person has ever experienced in the history of time. But they don't want to think about that. They want to find a way to victim. Job's done. Also simultaneously thinking and about I understand this. that this is a very mean thing to say. Nothing my house. Too real here. Uh, but it, this is absolutely what's happening. And everybody knows it. Oh. Then why shouldn't we be able to say it? I mean, is it a slur? Yeah. Is it liberating? Is it fat phobic? I don't fucking know anymore. Every time I try and understand this stuff. Ah. Poor people who are objective unhealthy, unhealthy is now derogatory. And the word obesity should now be censored, but at the same time should be liberated and celebrated and justified. agenda, it just makes less and less sense. But anyways, guys, this is in fact the end of the video. Oh, it makes sense if you think about it from the perspective of I'm that I've already decided to do. So you're thinking about it from the logic of how do I make 
And now it makes a lot more sense. If you like, please leave a like. And if you didn't, then feel free to degrade me in the comments. I hope my braces and newfound speech didn't affect the video too much. But if it did, then uh, win that brass. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna pull this one up. There's actually a positive power. Imagine that. Being fat was a status symbol century as a sign of the resources, so unless the positive power that is actually in that is an insane 4D chess. That the fact that you're overweight is ultimate privilege. Bro, like he, that's that's oh my god. I feel like that's a whole new strategy. That's crazy. I love it. By adapting phase, so I'm not fully normal just yet. But like I said earlier, I had to make this video. There was no way I was ignoring this. But yeah, hopefully in the next video I don't sound like fucking Timmy Turner. Well, with all that said, all my links and Set it down and I did up. on anything. I hope all of you guys did enjoy the video. But until next time, make sure to drink your water and get up sleeping. Okay, goodbye. You know why being Therefore, then why do you eat more of them? They would live longer than people who aren't overweight. <laughs> yeah. Good luck outrunning any living creature. There's no way to think that overweight in a zombie apocalypse is a good idea. And. Okay. Garbage for a fictional story. I just, why are you thinking about zombies, bro? Like, she, <laughs> she'd be. One of Zombie Land cardio? I remember that. I watched that. They used to kill fat culture and they call it a fat culture. Here's the thing, right? Let's do a thought experiment. Would, would, I think the guy's name is Polk. I think the guy that made the polio vaccine. Would people be doing a, a genocide of polio culture? Like if it was in today's day and age. Like I wonder, right? Because like, That doesn't mean it can't be true. I mean, fuck, I feel like that means it probably would be true. <laughs> they would say literally anything. For honor and glory! Job's done. The thing with this kind of stuff to me is that I think it does do really bad damage to, like, young people. And you see also, by the way, um, the reason why there's no older fat people in these videos is because they're dead. That's why. Uh, if you get fat, you're going to die early. And that's why all of them are like 25 or 29 or something like that. It's because they usually pop up at about like 40 to 50 or so. And, you know, that's just the way things go. And so why is that happening? And so if somebody wants to do that, uh, then I think that's their right. This is their right as an American to be seven. Hello. Together, uh, we are strong. Telling people that it's a normal lifestyle, that this is something that just happens to you, and it, it like, basically, it's the messaging of, death you know, night. like, the helplessness that people have to it that I think is very unhealthy.
Now, it's not that bad, but it's you'd be better off if you didn't do it. Um, other than, like, a few things with, like, weed... I haven't seen that well, before! Uh, unless it's, like, medically needed. So... In, in, in many cases, there are a lot of things that people do. My seal for the Argus! The problem is that they don't do it. And then they are. For honor and glory! And celebrate. And they play for it! chill i saw it man yeah i did see that anything inhaled besides oxygen is harmful yeah i guess so try and analyze stupid well it, it's about and again also uh it's just narcissistic people that are looking for reasons to justify their bad behavior people sorry for it right they want to tell other people what to do what to think what they can't say uh, meanwhile, they're just not controlling themselves. The problem is that unhealthy choices are oftentimes the most cheaper than healthy choices. In Denmark, they have a sugar tax on all sweet products. It works. You see, like, I don't even entirely believe that because there's a lot of produce. That's like, I, I don't think that's true. As somebody who's been to a grocery store before, that's not really true. If you cook produce, if you you are probably <laughs> you're just eating Talk to the dead It's really not. Yeah, this is this is the to take back post. That's what it is. This is like, oh well, I'm fat because I'm poor. No, you're not. Go look at actual poor people in India and in Africa. Are they fat? No, they're not. You're not fat because you're poor. For honor and glory! It's crazy. grocery stores is the cost of quality of food, poverty, and obesity. I bet there's a lot of dumb people because they're not educating themselves, they're dumb as fuck. And they don't know what the hell is going on. It is, yeah. I mean, what the fuck are you talking about? Poverty and obesity, yeah. A fucking course, but just because it's correlated, th like, have you ever thought that maybe these same bad decision-making pattern that caused somebody to get fat would also cause them to be poor? Like, I don't know. I feel like that kind of makes a lot of sense. Also, again, a lot of times being overweight is probably a, like, it's people that are willing to do things that are self-indulgent. Throw and guess what? You the Lich that King! If you're to make money and uh, it's not All will serve me in death. There's always a better way to do things. I bring the fury of the elements.
have to go somewhere else, and it was nowhere else to go. 5.50 to play. Nem Hard now leading Canada with 16 points. Seconds in Spain's 2024 Olympic appearance, or will they find their way through? Barrett with a tough finish. Great cut by RJ Barrett. Back to a little time. Forward. 
representing... The star of this fort. Lob it inside. Let's go back. No, Rodia. Yes. to play and Aldama doing everything he can for Dia has been great on the offensive glass in this quarter. Crawl! Just seven shooting oh four for Doomhammer. I bring the fury of the elements. And that spark that he had against Greece in this first quarter. It's Yule for Dia, Aldama, Abrinus. And Brazuela for Spain. Spain possibly exposing a weakness in the NBA. No one boxes out anymore in the NBA. So, uh oh. Brazuela, no. Rebound. Going the other way. Rodia called for the foul. So they're crashing the glass. They're giving themselves the opportunity. Like you said, no one boxes out anymore. Big part of the game plan for Spain. Okay, that's going to be free throws. Two. So Canada with a chance to put some food. Spain has been so close to food. in this group. They've had three tough games. Explore Ottawa! See the Titans' glory! I feel like they've been through some legit learning stuff. These feel like Canada games. I mean, they, they like... They, they win on the defensive end of the floor, so this feels like... They're, 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 they're back in there for Barrett. Full court pressure now from the Canadians. For as well. To Aldama. Guarded by Brooks, who always loves to take the responsibility. Five to shoot. Brazuela. Oh, he loses Dort. Okay. The okay. Circle the charge circle, so it definitely was a block. Now, hard, yep, in that restricted area. The question is whether or not they should count the bucket, and that's what Spain head coach Sergio Scariolo is trying to argue. He's trying to ask for them to, at minimum, look at it at the monitor, but they're not going to do that. They're going to get two free throws for Yule instead. And now, offense defense for Jordi Fernandez as Dort takes a seat after what was one of the more emphatic blocks you'll ever see. That was two blocks at once. That yeah. was two blocks at once. Yeah. That was a block going to Social media coaches out there and refs. Oh, 
Padilla fighting for it, and the jump ball's gonna go to Canada. It's the alternating possession. Your fever rules. You don't jump it up. So. Callum Dora Palooza was better. And now it's going to come down to what Spain felt like won them the game against Greece. They talked all the last two days about how big their defense was in the fourth quarter. Can they find stops again? Nemhar behind the back for mm. two. He's been living in that pain here in the second half. Greetings, friend. Oh, 
finishing down by three. Gilgis Alexander always in control. Picked up by Abrinas. 14 to shoot. SGA makes his move. SGA pumps and he's fouled. Brezuela came over on the help. SGA will shoot two. See the Just a little yeah. bit of a body bump. Just enough. championship between Duke and Butler where Coach K decided to tell Brian Zubek at the free throw line missed the second one on purpose oh, oh, little time. Gordon Hayward had a half-court shot and he missed by maybe half an inch to win the national championship he decided, hey, we, we would live with overtime and a three-point shot I've heard some crowds upon you it's me I'm going to go back 2.3 seconds out of 
a lot of time to go to the left of the floor. I think if you up, if you're up three, it's gonna it's gonna make it a little harder for him to get down there. And you know, obviously they can't win a game unless they get a four point play. So I'm about going up there, up there, and do what you do, make both of these free throws and make it tough on them. Nobody run from me. It doesn't matter in this tournament, but at this point. They feel good. The point differential would be helpful for seeding for them and potentially having a top two seed. Eliminate them from the United States until the gold medal game. You burn some! You burn some!
glory.
I wonder... for another round.
firm grasp! Ready to get scorched? I bring the fury of the elements. Job's done. Engaging TC-130 into dislocator!
You burn some! You burn some!
Paul versus Uther. I will fight with honor. I bring the fury of the elements. I have been chosen by Amatis herself!
Gaze into the horizon, and you will see what is real. Let's 
Protect Little Bob! Elements.
Gucci trend. Out of my jungle. Glory!